Now, I'm an ear, nose and throat specialist. I see adults and children with all ENT conditions, but ultimately I'm an ear specialist and it's patients who've got any problem with their ears or their hearing that I'm you know, an expert in that field and that is what I want to do. But when you're training in ENT, you do six years of specialist training. I mean, it's very diverse, the anatomy is very intricate, but actually you tend to find that there are certain things that really inspire you. And for me, that was some of the mentors that I worked with, but it's also the variety of surgery. No ear is the same, no ear operation is the same. And the quality of life that you can improve upon for, for your patients is, is really, I think, second to none. So in terms of emerging technologies, you know, we're fortunate at Cleveland Clinic London to have all the best kit at, you know, available to us to, to use that for diagnostic purposes, but also then for, for managing conditions. And that means not only incredibly good imaging services, and imaging techniques are always evolving, but it's a combination of using those imaging techniques to get the right diagnosis, but then using the technology that we have in, in the operating theatres, and that can be anything from microscopic technology, robot technology, or indeed the actual implants that we insert for helping hearing conditions. So that's different to a conventional hearing aid. It means there's a bit implanted beneath the skin. Often there's an external processor which picks up sound so that that's actually how they're then able to pick up the environmental sounds around them. And essentially I implanted a child who was at 15 at the time with a device that actually was available then and was fully implanted under the skin. She had a skin condition so she couldn't wear an external processor and she couldn't wear an external hearing aid and it was, you know, it was life-changing for her. It changed her confidence level, it changed her ability to make friendships. Clearly when you're in your mid-teens, it's a very awkward stage of life and it's just brought her out of her shell. It's, it has, as a family, it's, it's changed everything for them. So that sort of thing is, is an enormous privilege.